For today's little adventure, we're going to be looking at the build a mini figures that we got at the Lego store um, in December. Now, for those of you who don't know, um, the Lego store has a build a mini figure section. So I never really think about it too often because it's something the, the Lego store that near us has been there for many, many years. So I don't realize how lucky we are to have that because this is something that you can't get online at the lego.com. Um, it's something that you can probably buy off of eBay or Bricklink, but it's not something you can just buy off of lego.com, which kind of sucks because sometimes they have some really cool nifty ones that they have. Um, they do have ones that come out each month or each quarter that specifically bodies, you know, bodies go together, heads go together, but really you can create whatever you want out of it. And, for, um, and they used to, the store that we're at now, they used to have where they would just automatically have a three pack filled with the current, um, bodies. But they haven't really done that for a while. They did do that during the pandemic for a little bit, um, but not so much. So I'm super excited to share what we had got in December. We normally get um, the coming packs of three. Most of the time we end up getting like three. Three never just get three. We get like six to nine, sometimes 12 when we buy them, just because there's so many variations you can do. And I let my kids just pick whatever they want. I... I tell them, hey, these are the ones that came out this year, and they decide whether or not they want to keep what that style is. So let me share with you the ones that we got and the ones that came out for quarter three. So Mrs. Claus, Gingerbread, and this little boy in the Christmas sweater. Okay, so we're going to look at these. And here's our Mrs. Claus. So this one, she, she was supposed to have a pretzel. Um, we decided that the fruit cake made more sense for her. So we have a fruit cake. So she's got her red skirt bottom. She has her um, Mrs. Claus top. It's got the detail on the back, her red arms, her white. Um, and you can look at her face. So she's got the little old glasses, gonna smile. And there's another little smile on the back. There's not that much of a difference. Oops, sorry guys. <laughs> There's not that much of a difference in her smile though, really, to me. Just a little bit of a difference, but not much. So the only thing that I think is a little odd is she doesn't have any hair in her hat. So <laughs> I always think of Mrs. Claus with hair, you know, like a little bun or something or longer hair, but no. So this one, Miss Mrs. Claus does not have hair. So not my favorite part of her outfit, but hey, still, I like her. It's nice to have a Mrs. Claus because all I have is Santa's because I bought Santa's sleigh and stuff. All right, so our gingerbread woman, my boys decided a lasso would go good with her. <laughs> um, they had it where I think their design was she came with a donut or something, but they thought the lasso was cool. Okay, so she's got her top has the little gingerbread dots. She's got the little cream in the center of her head. It's got a little indention where her eyes are, which is kind of cool. I don't know if you can really see it, but... You might be able to see that there's just a little indention where her eyes are. It's pretty nifty. If you take her pants off, you could make a gingerbread man, I guess. Because <laughs> she does have a skirt. So it could be a gingerbread man. Could be a gingerbread woman. You know, could do either or. But it was made to be a gingerbread um, girl or woman. So you have that with the lasso, which I think is kind of cool. I think it's just nifty that Lingo has a lasso <laughs> as an accessory. So when you do the prick a brick wall, it is, you get legs, body, skirt, whatever, an accessory, and then a head, and then a head can have a hat or hair, you you get that. So you're allowed one, two, three, four, five parts, okay, if the head has the ability to have hat or hair, where the gingerbread obviously could not. Okay, so we got a little boy, he came with a guitar in this set, so it's a nice little white guitar here, kind of reminds me of an Elvis guitar to be honest. <laughs> a nice um, um acoustic guitar i think is the right way to say it so yeah i like that and then he's got the little short legs because he's a little kid they're red and then i love this little green christmas sweater i do wish that they would have kept the design in the back but you know sometimes we have sweaters they don't have designs in the back so i get it but i do like it it's got little reindeer that are red it's got little snowflakes and it's got some green cross i love the detail so you got this one face, and then he's got this kind of like, oh my goodness, I can't do this face. I'm thinking maybe when he's just learning to play the guitar. <laughs> and then they picked this hair for him. So this is the traditional, what we got. 
So these aren't all the things we got for December though, but these are the traditional three, except for we chose different accessories for Mrs. Claus and for the um, gingerbread woman. Okay, so I'm gonna put those aside. And then the other three that, so, so we have nine total. So the next group that we got are these guys. Oops, and they're gonna fall over, sorry. Okay, so we got Cake Guy. My kids said he should come with a pretzel. Don't know why, but there's a pretzel. <laughs> okay, so you've got the brown pants, and then you've got this top that's got kind of like, look like it's got icing coming on it, and you got the overalls, got a little bow tie, and little dots there. Looks like he's covered in chocolate and then icing, or maybe another thing of sprinkles. So you got this kind of scared face, and you got this happy face, and then I love how his hands are pink and blue. I think that's awesome. And then you have the little cake top. So this has been used as pizza, as well as um, watermelon. I love this design because it's so versatile. You can use a slice of anything. So I, I'll be excited if they ever do a slice of pie. That'd be fun too. But I like the cake top. So it's brown in the back. No big deal there. And then you have the sailor. So my kids decided that he should come with a toolbox. And the toolbox is orange, which my oldest son loves that color. All right, so we got his sailor outfit, got his pants. So this guy has two faces. Now, if you got a regular Lego sailor in a set, he would not have two faces because of the hat. So that's one thing Lego does. If you have a minifigure for a set and they have a hat that shows the back of the head, you will not have two faces, just so you know. Okay, so he's got this little smile here, and he's got this kind of grimace there. I always think it's interesting that most of the time they have like a happy face, and then they have like a kind of a sad face, so, or a scared face or a grimace face. Okay, so the little Boy Scout here, my kids decided he should come with a magnifying glass, which makes sense. I love this hair. I love that it's got a hat. You got hair coming back, you got hair coming out of the top of it. He's got this face, he's got this grimace face. So really, I think they just used, yeah, they just used the same face as they did for him. So now these are the ones that my kids created. So these were all to get, these outfits were there. So that's just what they chose to do. So I love how it has little badges on it. And if you have a Boy Scout, this is a great one for a kid who has a Boy Scout, you know, or Cub Scout or whatever. It's just the idea of having a little mini figure of yourself. It's awesome. But I really do love this hair piece, this hat hair piece together. I think that is cool. I love the idea of making sure you can see instead of just a hat, you can actually see the hair. But yep, but the sash goes all the way around, so that's cool. And then who doesn't have a magnifying glass when you're gonna be when you're gonna be, you know, getting badges? So that's the other that's the third second set of threes that we got. So So our sailor, our piece of cake guy, and our Cub Scout, Boy Scout. All right, and then the last set for this, last three for this set was this group. Okay, so we have this girl. She has got a boom box, which I love this teal color. And I love how it's got the little, looks like you can see the vibrations. So you got the teal and the gold and just the back's plain. Okay, all right, so as you can tell, we're wearing a jacket that has the same teal color. It's got the, oops. Sorry guys, I drop things easily. Got the lighter teal on the sleeves. You can see a little bit of the belly. You got the gray pants with the pockets. So kind of like, um, oh, what are those called? Capri maybe? No, not Capri. I forget what the pants are called. Anyway, they got the pockets on them. People have pockets. And then the back has a star with some music notes on it. So this person's a musician. Okay, so here's a smiley face. And then here's a very serious, like, leave me alone face. So and then you got the short hair. <clears throat> short, long hair. So that's kind of cool. So that's one. And then you've got the little girl who's got her little bunny rabbit, which is so adorable. The little bunny plush. Got her in her pajamas. You got the little stripes and thing there. Love how the pants match. So she's got her little pajamas. You got her happy face. You got her <laughs> giggling face. And then I love the hair. I like it when they do two happy faces on characters because she's smiling. She's getting ready for bed. And now it's like, hey, my mom or dad's telling me a story or my brother is making me laugh. I love it. Okay. So you got this one, put her down. And then <laughs> this one I think is funny. So they had obviously this blue brick <clears throat> minifigure and this guy had a blue head. Okay, they had the blue head there. And they have this like, looks like he's gonna throw up or I don't know what he's getting ready to do, but it's kind of scary to be honest. Okay, then you have the hands and this can come off. 
and obviously see it just comes off the legs there's no actual separation there i do think it's weird that he didn't have blue hands i think that's a little odd but hey <clears throat> still cool still like it so yeah <clears throat> and my kids decided he should come with a with a off green teal me i don't know army green snake <laughs> so there's the slithering snake all right so these are the nine that we got <clears throat> from our build a ming yeah. i can get my guys to stand up i'm horrible getting lingos guys to stand up without having a base for the put them on from our build a minifigure wall at our lego store in december so huh, sorry in the comments please tell me which one is your favorite and which ones you would have picked or not picked so thank you for joining us for today's little adventure and please join us for our next today's little adventure <laughs>